When you play so much of a certain genre, you think you've seen everything. I've played a ton of fan servicey games for reviews, but I was not prepared to see what today's game would bring me. When I think about a fan service game, of course, my first thought isn't sentient panties flying around shooting lasers and bazookas at each other. But hey, that's what we're going to talk about today in one of the funniest and strangest fan service games I've ever played. Here is my review of Panty Party for the Nintendo Switch. In the world of this game, panties have become sentient and conscious about who likes them and who doesn't. Because a lot of unpopular panty designs are not worn and loved by girls, a panty known as Ponzi wants to brainwash all of humanity so they love all panties equally whether it's by choice or not. You play as Eureka, a high school girl who has the ability to transform between human and panty forms. She's recruited by someone against Ponzi's wishes and goes on a journey to tackle their base and stop them from brainwashing the world. As you'd expect from what I just said, this story is really wacky and really out there. It's full of comedy, not in the traditional joke sense, but because of the story and the dialogue and how out there it really is. Not to mention the fact that this is a fan service game, but it isn't really a quote unquote pervy fan service game. There aren't that many sexual jokes and most of the jokes that are around are just the panties making fun of the main character's butt or arguing over which design of panty is the best. Very goofy and very silly stuff rather than perverse sexual fan service. The biggest problem with the story though isn't the story itself but the translation's formatting. In almost every cutscene that I saw, there was at least one dialogue segment where a word would be partially spelled on one line and the rest of it would be spelled on the next line. It really makes it look like they didn't do much editing to this translation after they had translated it. When it comes to gameplay, this is a third person action game with beat em up elements and shooting elements. Across all the game stages, you're going to be flying around as a pair of panties, attacking other panties with weapons like boomerangs, rocket launchers, and laser beams. When it comes to what you can do in the game, you have three basic game modes that you go through. Story mode, arcade mode, and local multiplayer. Now the bulk of this is going to be story mode, with arcade mode being about maybe half as long, and local multiplayer just being quick battles you can do with a few friends in the room, up to four players. As the bulk of the game, story mode has you going through 19 different stages with story scenes and an actual stage for you to go through with enemies and bosses to fight. Each of these stages also have special win conditions for a special unlock that gives you new playable characters for both story mode and arcade mode. And by characters, of course, I mean different pairs of panties that you encounter in story mode with different weapons and abilities than the main characters. But let's talk about how the game is actually played because stages are the biggest and longest thing you're going to be doing. Each stage is set up like a 3D arena. You spawn in and fight waves of enemies until the boss shows up and you can clear the stage. The novelty is how you attack enemies. You are a flying pair of panties and you've got melee and long range attacks. And you use weapons for each of these attacks like boomerangs, laser guns, or machine guns. Every character has different weapons to use, so as you unlock more playable characters, you have more ways to play the game. And more wacky panty and weapon combinations to see on screen. Now this isn't just a matter of mashing buttons until all of the enemies are dead. All of your abilities have a recharge time so you can't just mash the same button anymore. You can use an attack once or twice and then have to move to something else while that first weapon recharges. And once you've attacked enemies long enough, you can fill up a gauge and activate passion mode which gives you a boost in strength and changes some of your attacks for a short time. Now this formula is wacky and fun but only for so long. Overall, the system feels like it is bare bones because you don't get a lot of new features as you play through the story mode. The only element that's added after the beginning is the washing machines which endlessly respawn enemies until you take them out, but those are added really early in the game so by the time you get to the end it feels like you've just been doing the same old same old from the start to finish. And that goes into content and length as well. This isn't a very expensive game at $14.99, but it's not a very long one either. Story mode took me less than two hours to finish, and a single run of arcade mode took less than an hour. Unless you want to go back and replay all the story stages to do all those special endings and unlock all the different characters, there's really not much here. Now let's get into presentation. Graphically, the game looks good, but it doesn't look great. There aren't really that many jagged edges around the environments, and there's a lot of design on the actual character models. But when you play it, you can tell there's a lot less detail in the backgrounds and environments than in the actual characters. It doesn't look bad, but it could definitely look a lot better. 
And when it comes to performance, I don't really have any complaints. The load times aren't very long and the frame rate never really dropped. It was smooth for me in all stages outside of a little bit of lag in the transition between winning the stage and getting your results. Now let's get into battery life, which I was expecting to be a little bit higher considering the lack of detail in the environments. Pandy Party has a battery range of 2 hours and 46 minutes on high settings, up to 3 hours and 22 minutes on low settings. Now in conclusion, this is definitely the strangest and most comical fan service game I've ever played. Now the downside, there are some formatting problems with the translation and not a lot of overall depth and content in terms of length and in terms of gameplay. But if you like fan service and overly goofy games, this is definitely an entertaining little time waster. Not a very long time waster, but an entertaining one. Reviews to Go rates Panty Party for the Nintendo Switch a 6 out of 10. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.